Having a career in the trucking industry, is it worth it, guys? Because I know a lot of people right now are hitting, you know, hitting you guys with horror stories about what's going on. You know, is the industry ever going to be great again? Is it over? Like, should you even try? Okay, now here's the honest truth, right? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm your boy, Winston P. Strategist, man, and today I am in sunny Miami as you can see guys this is just gonna be a quick video I just want to have a really you know quick talk with you guys man because I've been seeing that a lot of you who have been really supporting the page have a lot of questions about trucking and a lot of concerns I know it seems like a lot of these videos might be like bad news but it's really not I'm giving you guys insight on how to navigate this trucking business because a lot of people don't keep it real like that and a lot of people make this industry seems like way more than what it is because you know we deal with a lot and people don't like being embarrassed people don't like you know having like personal things out there you know everybody want to make make things seem like everything is just perfect right so for me i feel like i'd rather be a little bit more transparent with you guys because you know i, I take i take this seriously i take you guys seriously i take your time seriously so i don't like putting out information you know to make things just appear like it's not so that's the reason why you get you know really good fair content out of me guys so i wanted to address something today that was very important you know just having a career in the trucking industry is it worth it guys because i know a lot of people right now are hitting you know hitting you guys with horror stories about what's going on you know is the industry ever going to be great again is it over like should you even try okay now here's the honest truth right Here's the honest truth. I fully believe that no matter who you are in the trucking industry, okay, no matter what you do, okay, you gotta have one, I should say ingredient, but you gotta have one skill, okay? And that's the skill to just not know what's gonna happen and you still make something happen out of nothing. I'm gonna call that being ambiguous, right? That, that might be the right word, ambiguous, okay? so. And I ain't even looking on Google right now. So, take these off, man. Take these off. But yeah, I'm gonna call it being ambiguous, guys. You wanna be that way and operate that way, not knowing what's gonna happen, not having all of the answers, but still making something happen out of nothing. You have to be like that because that's the type of industry you're in. And if you don't have that skill, and if you have to have everything you know, paved out for you, and you gotta have everything lined up, then that's gonna be a problem because in this industry you're not going to have all the right answers you're not going to know what to do sometime and a lot of times it may hang like have you in the balance like that for a very long time it could be lasting for months years where you're just unsure but as long as you have that zeal to keep going to keep making things happen to keep lining things up you'll be fine because that's what creates the strongest people in business okay and i look at trucking like a business when i do my videos guys don't think that I'm speaking to you from a driver's perspective I'm speaking to you from a business perspective that means it's coming way broader it's not narrow so for instance you don't need to be in the driver's seat to make money don't think that you have to have a trucking business to make money it's a ton of ways out here you can make it happen guys and I know a lot of people don't kick it to you like that but it's absolutely true okay so prime example me myself right now and be real with you I just sold my trucking business yep I sold it and that's because I needed to get to a different side of trucking and having a trucking business I felt like was holding me back because of the overhead uh, good money right you know I still made what I wanted to make you know what I'm saying four or five thousand dollars a week you know I had great ups and I've had lows right but I felt like I wanted to do something different inside of the industry I'm, I don't want to be stuck on like Okay, I got a trucking business. That's the only way I want to move forward. Don't forget about having a brokerage. Don't forget about having a dispatching business. Don't forget about technology. I've said it before and I've told you guys, I have an app coming, right? So I'm gonna tag it down below, Easy Go Manager. And that's something I've been working on for over a year now, guys. And it is a calculator that's gonna help a lot of you guys make a better business decision. So we got some cops out here. So make sure you guys diversify. Make sure you guys think outside the box. And if you're if you're you know not doing so well, right? Think about transitioning. 
think about transitioning because you don't want to be on a ship that's sinking and sinking and sinking until the point of no return or you run out all your finances and you're homeless. You don't want to do that to yourself. So if you feel like you need to throw in the towel, throw in the towel because that's a part of business. Like failure is a teacher. Like, like let's deal with that really quick. A lot of people are scared of failure. Well, if you're scared of failure, then you'll never know, you know, what to do next. And that's just the honest truth. If you're scared to fail, you'll never learn, right? So you gotta get out there and fail because failure is a part of learning. And let me say it this way. Every winner is a progressive failure. Is that the right way to say it? Every winner was a failure, right? Let's, let's, let's say it like that. Every winner was a failure, guys, at some point, okay? That's how you, that's how you win. Like, let's say you, we're talking basketball and you're shooting your shots and you're practicing. You're not gonna hit everything you want to, but at, a, at, a, at some point, you're gonna get better and better and better. And then your percentage and your chances of hitting that basket are just gonna be so much more higher. But you had to go through a lot of missed shots in order to figure out you know, how to shoot, how to line everything up. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. Make sure you keep on shooting because you need those practice shots, man. And you know, I'm just gonna be real, real honest with you. If you are scared to practice out here, if you're scared to fail, and if you're scared to get it right, that this might not be the industry for you because this in this industry you can lose a lot really really fast and a lot of people you know don't don't, don't take that well there's a lot of depressed people out there who you know trucking has took taken a lot from them and it has you know been a great toll on their bodies but i just want to hit you guys with that really quick man it's still a good industry but you do want to operate with a mindset you know of not having everything together but you make something happen out of nothing and you're not scared to fail and you go out there and you learn from your mistakes and there you go but guys if you enjoy my content man uh, just want to say thank you to everybody who has given me all these comments and likes and support and make sure you guys keep on supporting the channel I'm, I'm continuing to drop content based on the support that you guys are giving so with that being said man I'm about to go in Miami get some more content talk to some people I do have a new channel where I'm dropping topics business topics unrelated to trucking so if you're interested in learning more about business in general i am dropping a lot of content about business in general because i know a lot of people want to get into a lot of stuff but that is it for this video guys i appreciate you i am out